The episode commences with the freight spaceship, the Blue Goose, part of a line of ships heading towards a surge point gate. Captain Tom gazes outside and laments the queue, while Ray, suffering from a hangover, voices his own complaints. After Tom ensures that the ship is ready to enter the gate, both he and his crew, including Susie, settle into their surge tanks, preparing for the faster-than-light journey. Moments later, Tom and Susie awaken, expecting to have reached their intended destination, only to find themselves docked in an unfamiliar repair facility. To their surprise, Tom's old friend Greta appears and reveals that they are at Somlaki Station in the Shidar sector, due to a routing error in the ship's navigation systems. Greta explains that Archangel Dispatch must have experienced a glitch in their syntax launch patterns. Susie finds this explanation hard to believe, attempting to get up but stumbling, leading Tom and Greta to help her back into her tank. Greta then escorts Tom to explore Somlaki Station. As time passes, Tom finds himself in the station's bar. Greta joins him, dressed alluringly, and they both enjoy the view outside. In an intimate moment, Greta confides in Tom, admitting that she had hoped to see him again after their past fling four years ago. Their emotions reignite, and they end up sharing an intimate encounter in Greta's cabin. As time continues to pass, Tom's mind remains troubled by the unfolding events. Greta finally admits that she hasn't been entirely honest with him. She reveals that they are not actually in the Shidar sector, but instead, the routing error has taken them far beyond what she initially disclosed. She presents a holographic map showing that Somlaki Station is 150,000 light-years from Earth. Overwhelmed by this revelation, Tom questions Greta about the time they spent in their tanks. Greta responds that, from their perspective, they were in their tanks for only a few months, but back on Earth, several centuries have elapsed. Tom struggles to come to terms with this shocking information. Greta assures him that he is indeed alive and she ended up in Somlaki Station through the same routing error. She reveals that everyone at the station has been brought there by this mysterious anomaly. Greta suggests that Tom wakes up the rest of his crew from their tanks. Tom wakes up Susie and asks her to recount her most recent memories. Susie describes her unpleasant feelings towards Archangel, and she realizes that she is currently experiencing something dreamlike. She notices Greta in the corner and questions Tom about her identity. Strangely, Susie claims that the woman before them is not Greta. She demands to know the truth, implying that she may be aware of the true nature of Greta and their surroundings aboard the Blue Goose. A frantic Susie implores Tom to look at Greta before attacking her. Susie attempts to stab Greta with a nearby statue, causing a cut on her neck. However, Greta skillfully counters the assault, injecting Susie with a tranquilizer that knocks her unconscious. Greta leaves Tom to return Susie to her tank alone. Alone with Greta, Tom observes the sleeping woman and notes that the wound Susie inflicted on her has mysteriously vanished. He confronts Greta, asserting that Susie was right about her true identity. Realizing she can no longer hide the truth, Greta finally tells Tom that everything around them is a simulation, and he is still asleep in his tank. Determined to uncover the whole truth, Tom demands that Greta reveal the true nature of Somlaki Station and herself. Greta hesitates, fearing the consequences of revealing the harsh reality, but Tom insists on seeing the station in Greta's real form. Tearfully, Greta unveils the simulated nature of their surroundings, exposing the horrifying reality in which they are trapped. When Tom awakens in his tank, he is confronted with a nightmarish truth. He finds himself in an alien hive, surrounded by several wrecked ships, all victims of the same routing error. He spots the decomposed body of Ray and Susie's lifeless form nearby. As Tom tries to make sense of his horrifying surroundings, he hears Greta's voice calling out to him from inside the wrecked ship. Peering inside, he sees a silhouette of a busty humanoid figure walking towards him, revealing Greta's true form. Terrified by the sight, Tom loses his sanity and screams at the monstrous alien. Having witnessed his inability to cope with the harsh reality, Greta returns his mind to the simulation, erasing all his memories up to the point he woke up in the tank starting the cycle anew. Greeted by Greta in her simulated form, she lies to him, stating they are in Somlaki Station, mirroring their previous encounter.